Hey guys, my name is Jessica Whitaker. I'm a New York City based photographer and I'm so excited to bring you behind the scenes on a photo shoot down in a New York City subway station. Our model for today's shoot is Diana. She is so talented and did such a great job. Her username will be in the description box as well as the full set of images, the gear that I use, anything that I mentioned throughout this video that could help you out check the description box. And London is my wonderful assistant. She's also an extremely talented photographer based out of New York City. So go give her a follow and some love over on Instagram. The camera that I used for this shoot was my Canon 5D Mark IV. I absolutely love this camera. The lens I used in the shoot was the Canon 50 millimeter 1.4 lens. I don't bring this guy out too much anymore. This used to be my favorite lens of all time when what I shot on for years and years. Now I'm so addicted to my Sigma 35 art lens. I love this guy so much, but I wanted to switch it up for the sake of this video and use a more traditional portrait lens. For those of you guys who are just starting out in photography, I highly recommend making the investment with a 50 millimeter lens. This is a great versatile lens that I seriously used for like five or six years with my Mark II camera. I have a 1.4, but you could also get a 1.8, and a 1.8 lens is usually under $200, whether it's Canon or Nikon. I really love a 50 millimeter lens, and also look at how small it is compared to my Sigma. For more photography videos, tips, and tricks, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for even more free content, tools, and resources, things that I come across on a daily basis that will help you with your business, be sure to go check out my Instagram. I love sharing things with you over on Instagram stories. I love doing Instagram photography Q and A's using Instagram Live, website critiques and reviews. I love Instagram Live and I love helping you guys out. So be sure to pop on over to my Instagram for even more free tools and resources from me to you. Before we get into the video, I do want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform where you can not only build a beautiful professional website, you will be proud to share with clients, but you can also have your domain, an online store. You can even do email campaigns through Squarespace now. I have been using Squarespace for two years or so. They have award-winning 24-7 customer support as well as a very helpful in-depth online help desk. So what are you waiting for? Build your dream website today. Head to squarespace.com for your seven day free trial. And when you are ready to launch your professional new website, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. I did not realize that there was this beautiful staircase outside of Lincoln Center that led down to the subway station. It really caught my eye as we were walking to our original location of just the entrance of the subway. The architecture around Lincoln Center is beautiful and I love that they pulled it down into the subway at least a little bit. So there were these gorgeous stairs. So we started out where I was shooting from the bottom and doing more of a full body shot of the architecture and then we moved up onto the break in the stairs because it went like stairs break and then more stairs so we went to the break in the stairs and when I was photographing her portrait shots like torsos and more close-up headshots there are these really cool lights from the inside of the subway station were reflecting onto the really glossy tiles and I'm really happy with these images it was also overcast and so I feel like it just allowed us to create this this very dramatic feel and portrait she again diana is super talented and was able to really set the tone for the shoot i'm super happy with how these photos turned out then we went from the entrance of the subway station down to the actual subway station station itself where you would purchase your metro card. Usually subway stations do not have a lot of natural light other than where the staircases are at. That can kind of bring in a little bit of light, but in this case there wasn't a whole lot to offer. However, we still made it work. One big thing that I always look for in any location I'm going to is lines and how can I really nail the composition on my portraits. I'll look for leading lines, 
whether this is natural leading lines within the environment or natural lines that I can frame my subject around. I think that this adds a lot of interest to a photo, it adds a lot of detail, and it looks very intentional and will make your photograph stand out amongst the rest. Someone who's viewing your photos might not necessarily be able to put their finger on what makes your photos different than others. Composition is key and in the station there were a lot of just geometric lines. All of these elements in the environment can be paired with your portraits and look really stunning. I'll have a video that I recently did on framing linked in the iCard here or here, I don't know where, but it's on the screen and down below. I really encourage you guys to go watch that video. I go way more in depth step by step with framing and how I personally apply framing to my photography in different techniques. To sum up framing, whenever I get to a location, I look for lines and elements and ask myself, where can I place my subject that will make this feel very natural? No matter how strange the location might be, whether it is at a gas station or if it's on the subway, if it's out in the forest somewhere, I really love to look for these elements. Bringing it back to natural light, we did some shots closer to, to the other staircase in the subway station. There wasn't a ton of light, but there was just enough for my camera to be able to make do. I think that these turned out really pretty. We got some shots over by where you purchase your metro cards. We did some over by this really long rectangle along the wall of the subway. And then we moved over to more of the turnstile and revolving doors. I didn't want this to be super cheesy, so I did try my best. And I feel like we were able to accomplish something that still was pretty In this area, there's no natural light, but my Canon 5D Mark IV, the ISO goes up really high without having to have a ton of noise and grain. I still think it looks really nice and with a little bit of editing in Lightroom, I like the results of these images. If you have a camera that cannot handle a high ISO without a lot of noise and grain, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I think a little bit of grain is sometimes pretty. It kind of makes sense in this setting, but I would say just shoot wide open. So with my Canon 50 millimeter 1.4 lens, I could shoot on 1.4 or I could even shine like my phone flashlight onto the subject and then shoot so that there's a little bit of light to pick up on the subject. All right, guys, that was it. That was my behind the scenes subway photo shoot video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you learned something. You guys can view the full set of images down below on my website and also, before I go, I want to let y'all know, I do have a photography workshop. And if you guys want 15% off of my online photography workshop, I will have a link down below in the pinned comment and the description box. If you find any of my YouTube videos helpful, I think that you will really, really love my online photography workshop. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'm super blessed and thankful to have Squarespace as a partner so I can continue to create free content for you guys here on YouTube. I also have a free photography Facebook group called Build and Bloom. I will link it down below as well. Build and Bloom is one of Facebook's most highly engaged photography groups. There's over 50,000 members who are all very, very, very nice. Encouraging the slogan is less me more we. Our other slogan is there's a spot for you at the table. So if you're looking to build community both online and in person, be sure to go check out Build and Bloom. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.